So I wanted to make this quick video to show you the genetic similarities between the Amish and the Jewish people. So these are the Amish people of America. And if you look at them, they look just like the Jewish people, but with different hats on. So there have been multiple genetic studies over the years that have been done linking the DNA of the Ashkenazi Jews and the Amish people. So all of these genetic studies have proven that the Jewish people and the Amish people are genetically the same race. And one of these studies was interesting to me because it went a bit further than your typical genetic comparison. It actually studied what is called ocular refraction. And they didn't just use Ashkenazi Jews and uh, the Amish people for this study. This was a broad study and one that involved African Americans and Asians um, within this study. So what I'm going to show you is just the one part that has to do with the comparison between the Ashkenazi Jews and the Amish. So the study of ocular refraction is basically not studying the, uh, not just the similarities between the two groups known as the Amish and the Jewish, but it's studying also the differences in their DNA based on ocular refraction, which is essentially uh, biological and environmental factors that change our DNA slightly. So ocular refraction is present in all races. Um, so if we have the black population of African Americans and we take the black population living in South America, and we were to do genetic studies, we would see that we are the same, but we may have slight variations in our DNA, and it's just based on our environment. So the study proved that the Ashkenazi Jews and the Amish people are genetically exactly the same people, but with slight variations in their DNA based on their environment, based on the food that they eat, their lifestyles, and uh, their everyday life and where they live. But the important thing to note is that these people are genetically the same. So the founder of the Amish religious movement is Jacob Amon. And this is a picture of Jacob Amon in France. He is shown in France, but he is actually from Switzerland. And he is the one who created the Amish religious movement or the Amish order. And remember what I said about the term Ish. The Amish people are called Amish, but the term Ish means to be like. So the term Amish actually means to be like Amun. Just like the term Jewish means to be like a Jew. So it doesn't mean that you are a Jew. It means that you are like a Jew or to be like a Jew. So if we look at the languages spoken by the Amish populations, we see that they speak German, different dialects of German, High German, Amish German. So we know who these people are. They came from many different European nations, but the majority of them were German coming out of Germany. So the Jews were coming out of Germany as well. So you have to understand that these Jewish people and these Amish people, if they're genetically the same people and they both came out of Germany, why is it that the Amish people don't have any Holocaust history? Because they were they're the same people. OK, they're the same people traveling on the same boats to arrive in America. Um, but how come the Jews have this history of a Holocaust or the story of a Holocaust, but yet the very same people genetically who are now called the Amish don't have that same history? This would indicate that there was no Holocaust and that this was just another Jewish lie in order to allow millions of people to enter into America. They did the same thing in Israel. So it's certain things like this that make you wonder. And... Um, you know, just look at other things like why is it that the Amish people aren't calling themselves the holy chosen people of the Bible? They read the Bible as well. They believe in the Bible, right? How come they're not calling themselves the chosen people of God and living in the land of Israel as well? So we see the difference in the mentality 
in the populations, but genetically they are the same. And it makes you wonder, how did they get to this point? How is it that we have two groups of people who are genetically the same, yet they have adopted two separate identities, essentially uh, creating two separate cultures? And the truth is, it's not just about the Ashkenazi Jews and the Amish. But if you look at the Russian priests, you can see that they are genetically the same as well. If you look at the Arabs in the Middle East, the kings of Saudi Arabia, these Arabs who are controlling the Middle East now, you can see that they are genetically related to the Jewish people as well. So the Jewish and the Amish and the Arabs, the Russian priests, and many other groups of white people around the world, they are all genetically related. They are all, in fact, genetically the same people. But they have created these multiple identities and um, multiple sects and groups and different uh, religious practices. And they've given themselves these multiple identities. And this is all a tactic used by white people in order to ensure their survival. Their multiple identities allow them to separate and multiply more rapidly, all to ensure the survival of their race. But at the end of the day, we know that they are all related. Most people tend to blame the Jewish people for everything, but the truth is, is that this is a collaboration effort. The Arabs, the Russians, the Jewish, the Amish, all of these people are genetically the same. And what they're doing and what they have been doing is a collaboration effort. And we sit back and look at them as if they're different people because they wear different hats and they go by different names and they read different holy books. Um, but don't be fooled by this. They are all genetically the same. And they have all collectively participated in the destruction of the black races in one way or another. And if you strip them bare, of their different hats and their holy books and the different clothing that they wear. Underneath, you will find the same beast.